all been around and doing it But now it's my time to shine and start proving it I'm losing it, I'm moving it The city is where I'm made Bostonian flow, I kick it in back there Yeah, I got game, got in a fan way We the city of the champs, every sport we play Spit wetter than the harbor, yeah, I'm flowing like the Charles I be speeding on this beat, call it turnpike miles Yeah, it's Google signing on, John to the Hancock And I'm always key, I'm ready to unlock I be doing big things Welcome back, everyone, to the newest edition of Once a Week. I'm Billy Jan Lutis, and I wanted to do something different with this week's message. I wanted to explain the experience that I had that I know will connect for you, but if you truly, truly, truly open your mind up to it, it can help you so, so much as well. Because it's all about an angel coming to help. And I mean that in every single sense of the word. And whether you're spiritual or not, or whatever culture you might come from, angels are a real thing. And if you open your mind and your heart enough, you're able to see, but also feel when they're near to help you. But for this message, I want to explain to you a meditation that I've done, but truly the lesson that was taught to me in the process about myself and about other people that I'm around in my life because it will show you a deeper side to yourself, but also a deeper side to the people that you are around in your life. So we're gonna go deep today like we always like to do. But before we step into that, guys, if you have not subscribed to Once a Week yet on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button below. Become a part of this channel and become a part of the ultimate goal of helping as many people as we can. And please like this message as well by hitting that thumbs up button below. But all that being said, let's step into the process right now. So to paint this picture for you, a while back, guys, I was truly going through a very, very, very tough time. You're building yourself, you're putting the piece together to pursue and achieve that goal of yours, but still, life just doesn't seem right. And whether it's impatience for certain parts of your life that you want to be here now, Whatever it means for you, maybe the success, maybe the relationship, maybe the house, whatever it is for you. Or maybe it's you battling yourself and thinking that you aren't doing enough when you might be doing all that you need to do, all that you can. But for me, it was impatience. And when we get impatient, we tend to jump at the first thing that crosses our path rather than calculating and trusting that things are coming together just as they should and making the right decision about them. This will forever be a battle for everyone in the world, I can guarantee it. But I started jumping the gun on a few things and feeling like the movement that I'm making in the right direction, and it is in the right direction because everyone and everything always tells you, you take action. And I'm taking action in these moments. I'm seeing things come together. I'm excited about it. I'm feeling good. Pieces aren't just coming together. I'm putting them together. It's a great feeling. But then, and this has happened to me a lot, which is probably why it was on me to do this for today's message. But in those moments of excitement, everything fell apart or everything falls apart. The people that I connected with in those moments of action, they were gone in the blink of an eye. The results and the success seemed to just slow to a snail's pace and I can tell you I was truly left devastated. I was left annoyed, I was left drained and probably more impatient than I've ever been in those moments. And all those feelings and all those emotions are all common when things fall apart, right? But in them falling apart, it led me to so many deeper areas of myself and led me to so many deeper areas to learn in. And one of those areas was a specific meditation, our topic today, our topic here and now. And I'm just going to describe what happened in the meditation to you so you can envision it, and experience it for yourself. So as a meditation begins, you find a peaceful place. You find that center. You focus on your breath and you let your mind relax. And I was guided in this meditation to go back to a time where something didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. For all of us, this is usually a time with a person. That's why I said earlier, relationship or your success of some kind, because no matter what, people play a role in your life. And for me, 
I let my mind bring me back to a moment that created a lot of pain. Because of the excitement being there and then fading in just an absolute instant. And in this guided meditation, you begin to envision an angel. Your angel, your guardian angel next to you or above you. And they begin to bring you to a new perspective of the situation that you were in. Looking back at this moment in your life, you begin to see what was really going on and why things faded. Rather than looking back at it with a grudge or with some sort of frustration, which we all can do and which we all probably do with some aspect of our life. So for me, I'm seeing this moment between me and someone else months after the fact, but now I'm seeing it with new eyes. And I begin to see the different energy levels between me and the person, the different intentions of me and the person, the different emotional levels of me and the person. All of this being information we do not usually pick up on in the moment. And if we're impatient, like I mentioned before, we can miss it absolutely entirely. So in seeing this with new eyes now, thanks to that deeper experience, this angel experience, you begin to see the different levels people operate at. And if you aren't operating on the same level as someone else, there's a very good chance going to fade. We usually don't have all the answers to someone else's life because everyone is going through something you know nothing about. And because of that, they see themselves at a certain level and they observe others at a different level too. If your energy is high, if your light is so bright, but someone else's isn't at that same level, the energy isn't the same. and It tends to fade. In business, in relationship, in partnering with someone. So in my experience, I looked back at this moment in my life and saw why things worked out the way they did. I saw my past with new eyes and why it needed to happen the way it did. For lessons that came through in that very moment, but for the ultimate lesson of seeing that some people aren't supposed to be part of your story for too long because they aren't on your level. And I do not say that from a cocky standpoint whatsoever, but I do say that from an energetic and emotional standpoint. And now connecting this topic to faith right now, that's why we always come back to God having everything in his hands. How it all does truly work together for your good because God sees the things we don't see. God picks up what we don't pick up on, like those emotional energetic levels that are in here. You can't see it physically, but they're there. In this meditation, I was able to just get a glimpse of that. And it brought a healing in, but it brought a lesson in how I perceive others now. So I bring this example to you today to question your past moments that you might be holding on to, that you might have a grudge towards and you only look at it through that grudge lens. If you're holding on to past pain or a grudge, all you really do is lower your own energy. When looking back, it's very possible that person, that situation, that whatever, didn't work out because you were at a different level than the other person or people. You didn't match. You don't mix with lower levels because you're meant for higher levels. That's why the phrase of misery loves company is so common. If you're at a level of misery, you'll connect with others at that misery level. But if you're at a higher level, a higher emotional and energetic level, you'll connect more with higher level people. Having that perspective in your moments can change everything but can hold back, it can truly hold back the impatience because you can see things for what they are and not for either worse than they are or for more than they are meant to be. You can trust in the moment. In that meditation for myself, it relieved so many questions. It brought so many answers. It brought new knowledge and that experience with that angel I hold that so close because it really does show that help is on the way or closer than ever. But we need to ask for it. We need to invite that help into our lives so we can experience it. But it shows that 
it all really does work together because the right people find you and the wrong people, they just fade away. And if I can close this with a last major point, the more you value yourself for the good that you are, the more you raise your energy. The more you see the good in yourself above that of what others may say or what your past might feel like, the more you raise your energy. The more you feel great about your life, the more you see great in your life and the more you welcome great into your life. You don't just attract in what we want. We don't just attract in what, you, what we want. We attract in who we are. You attract in who, who you are. You might attract in or manifest someone that you think you wanted, but because of the different energetic levels, you might not hold on to it. It might fade. But in fading, you elevate higher to where you're meant to be for your entire life, your best self. Because it all truly does work together. Think about it. But I'm telling you, go meditate for yourself and think back to a past experience that you had. But see it with new eyes for yourself and ask what answers are there to find. If you looked at it from a higher perspective, what would you find? Where was the other person or people on an energetic level, on an emotional level? If they didn't match with you, it might connect to why. You're exactly where you need to be here and now. That's the truth. Trusting in that allows you to find peace, but also understand what step to take next. Because it all truly does start with you. And that's personal power at its finest. I'm telling you. I know this is a deep message, guys, but it's my experience. And I want you to experience that as well so you don't carry what you were never meant to carry. Leave it and keep on moving forward to your best self. It's all you're meant to do. So you can welcome in what is truly meant for you. Go give this meditation a shot, guys, and reach out with questions or experiences with it. Comment below if you have those questions. Reach out to me personally. I'm going to close it right there. I right, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Reach out. Please reach out if this sparks something for you. If you had a similar experience, maybe you've had something greater that could help others. Leave a comment. Reach out to me. I'd love to hear it. I'm here. But please like this message on YouTube, guys. And hit that thumbs up button below. Share this message to someone who you feel needs to hear it and can use it to help them in some way. Because like I said at the start of this video, that's our goal. Reach out a hand to someone else. And if you have not already, please subscribe to Once a Week and take a look at all of our other messages. I'm pretty sure at the time of this posting to YouTube, you have 404 other messages to go check out. And I know one of them has exactly what you need to hear. Let's go take a look. And if you or anyone you know is in need of a coach who can help in the areas and perspectives discussed today, guys, head to buildyoulifecoaching.com and set up a free call with me. And I'm going to be right there for you because I want to be right there for you. Think about it, guys. But until next week. I've been around and doing it But now it's my time to shine and start proving it I'm losing it, I'm moving it The city is where I'm made Bostonian flow, I kick it back day Yeah, I got game, got in a fan way We the city of the champs, every sport we play It's been wetter than the harbor, yeah I'm flowing like the Charles I be speeding on this beat, call it turnpike miles Yeah, it's Google signing on, John to the Hancock And I'm always key, I'm ready to unlock